Okay, so here we are. We've got Dragon Dictates version 3. It's got some improvements, not a whole lot of improvements. It says that the accuracy is improved. It says that it's um, better in some other ways too. But, oh yeah, you can do that thing where you can record on another device and do a thing with Dragon Dictates where it'll uh, turn it into text for you. I'm going to give that a try soon. But, the fact that the recognition window is so much more improved, that's what really gets it for me. The fact that I can now actually sort of do some of my changes in that recognition window. It's got a little bit easier to use. And I'm enjoying using it and I'm piling out a whole lot of text into my websites because I can dictate so much faster using drag and dictate than if I'm doing that old typing sort of thing. So what is new? It is supposed to be 15% more accurate out of the box. But obviously the thing to do to get things working better is to train drag and dictate to understand your own voice. So you get started with the voice training by clicking on the microphone in this voice training thing here to get started. Wolves like to sing together, comma, even when they are not hunting, full stop, but they don't like to sing the same note, full stop. Instead, comma, they sing in chords. You can just do one of the voice trainings and it will work fairly good after that, but I suspect that if you work through all of the voice training, it will actually work better the more that you do. So let's actually get started in Dragon Dictate and see how it works doing some dictation. Header 2. What is new in Dragon Dictate numeral 3? New paragraph. Now I should have a capital letter in the start of that sentence. Say that. Select starter. Start of. Choose one. And it looks like it's crashed. Let's just do a uh, reopen and get working again. Lovely. Don't you just love it when things go really well like this? You have to load the profile. The profile contains the training that you've done as well as any words that you've added to the vocabulary. Select starter, start of, go to end, full stop. That is the old way of making any corrections. But now it is also possible to make corrections in the recognition window. It is also possible to make the text into all caps or scratch word. Choose two. I chose the number two option and it turned the text into the text where all of the words are with a capital letter at the start of them. Choose three. Or I can have them all in capitals, full stop. As you can see, that was because I chose the number three option. There are times when you actually get a word wrong. Edit one. Select Ashley. Actually. Choose one. There I was able to do the changes in the recognition window rather than doing it actually in the document itself but you can still do it in the document itself if you want to. Something else that is quite useful is to have the related commands. And this is there to give you clues of how to get better use out of Dragon Dictate. Play that back. Of how to get better use out of Dragon Dictate. I suppose that could be quite useful if I had a long sentence and had forgotten exactly what it was I said. The main thing to remember when you are using dictation software is that it is not a good idea to mix using the keyboard and the dictation. Select as you can see from to better. Delete that. Even though there are times when drag and dictate doesn't do exactly what you expect it to do, it is still much faster to use dictation software rather than using the keyboard. It is very good that it now updates itself every minute or so and I no longer have to update the file manually with the command S. This is something new with Dragon Dictate version 3. There are two or three things that are new with the application in terms of how you use it that makes it worthwhile updating from version 2.5 to version 3. 
I no longer see that annoying thing at the beginning when I am starting the application saying that it doesn't work with Mountain Lion. I do get the impression that the accuracy probably is better. I do like the improvements to the recognition window. If you are a writer of any sort and you have a lot of writing to do, then I would expect that dictation is the way to go. I would certainly expect that in three to five years time that dictation will be taken over from the keyboard. It is all getting very Star Trek, isn't it? Question mark. Mike, Alpha, Charlie, numeral 2, numeral 0, Capson, Quebec. And it is also quite easy to start again and you don't feel like you have wasted a lot of time because dictation is so much quicker than typing. I know that if I had been typing all of those words I would have been really miffed if the application had crashed or there had been something else wrong which meant that I had to retype them all again. Right then, this is Dave Allen and while you're here don't forget to go up there and while you're up there click on the subscribe button so that you're not going to miss any of these podcasts that are made for the listeners and viewers of the No Stylers website and of course Back to the Questions and Video Magical. And while you're here, go down there, that button's down there, look, okay, there's a like button. Click on that button for me, I would appreciate it, thanks very much. So this is Dave Allen signing off for Mac 20 Questions and for Video Magical and for No Stylers and I'll talk to you again soon, bye bye now.